everyone. Hope you're all doing well. I have some leftover, kind of like a Spanish rice that I made. I want to figure out what to make for dinner. Erica says, why don't we make stuffed peppers? So I'm going to show you. Here's my rice that I have left over. I am going to add this to a bowl. There we go. That should be good. If any more, I will add it. Okay, so one day I'm going to show you how I make this. It's very easy. I do it in my pressure cooker. And to this, now I'm not going to tell you exactly. I mean, I could measure it for you. I might have one, about two and a half to three cups of rice. And like I said, I'm going to probably have... I'm going to probably have leftovers of this, but that's okay because I don't mind eating it. And to that, I'm going to add a can of white beans just to change it up. And this way we also get our protein with our meal. And if those beans get mushed up while you're doing this, that's okay too because it just holds everything together. All right. And I am going to add just a little extra salt. I'm using delicious gray salt from France. I love it, it's nice and wet. Okay, keep mixing it and tasting it. Okay. And I have some leftover tomatoes from today, so I'm gonna chop some of those up. Hopefully it's a little better. Okay. And we're going to chop up some leftover tomatoes. And they don't have to be chopped up so fine either. As long as you get it in there, I keep even the skin. If you want to remove the skin, you can. Very easy to remove skin from tomato. Just... Put your tomato in some boiling water for a few minutes and then just scrape the tomato and the skin comes off. Okay, so I'm going to add some of this. I have another tomato that I'm going to chop up. This was the last of my batch and they're a little soft, but for what I'm doing, it's great. matter if they're squished up guys okay there's this little bit of pepper that was in one of the peppers we got a great deal yesterday we bought a whole bushel of peppers for $15 if you're in Montreal guys I go down to Obu go look at some of the stuff that you could buy in boxes okay roughly cut Nothing special. Got a tiny little pepper. We're going to throw that in also. Actually, I have peppers that my husband picked up. These are from the garden. I'm going to get one more pepper. These are the ones I call the Russian roulette. Let's see if they're hot this time around or if they're not. Not really. Let me see where the heat is. Yeah, it's got a little bite. I put season all guys, so if you don't like things too hot, remove the seeds and that little membrane that's holding the seeds. That's where all the heat is. But all I want to do is jazz up that rice that I made and get it to taste a little different because we're making a different dish tonight. But I did have leftovers, so. Okay. I'll put this here. Okay. And I'm just going to use my pounder just to kind of squish some of those beans in. I should have done that earlier, but it doesn't have to, but 
just helps it hold a bit. Okay. I'm going to make delicious stuffed peppers because I have lots of peppers. We just got a new box. I might add some TBP in there. So good. So. I'm not going to cook up the CDC. I'm just going to add it right in. I'm going to put about a handful. That's like maybe uh, a quarter cup. Just jazzing it up. And because I have no cooked potatoes, because if I had cooked potatoes, I'd be using that mash. I always have handy, which is a must in a house, is potato flakes. And I am going to use a nice handful of that. And that's going to be my glue. Okay, we're going to mix it up. It's just going to make it easier to stuff my peppers. And if my mixture is a little too wet, that TVP is going to absorb everything. What did I have in my Spanish rice? Well, I use what I have at home. And my Spanish rice had button mushrooms that my daughter picked up. So we had them. Um, we put some kale in there. We put some carrots. Uh, we put some uh, tomato powder. And we used paprika. And we spiced it up, of course. So it tastes like Spanish rice. One day I'm going to show you how I make it. It's very easy. It was delicious, but I made so much of it because I figured if my husband goes up north, he's going to have something to eat when he gets up there. And he doesn't mind leftovers. He loves leftovers. Okay, I'm just going to add it this way. Okay, we have a little pesto. And this pesto, by the way, I made last year. And I have jars and jars of this stuff. Okay, so we've got the pesto. We're going to mix that in. We're going to take it from Spanish and we're going to turn it Italian. By the time I taste this, by the time I'm done making this dish, I already had dinner. Mm, so good. Mm. Pesto just does it there. Eh? Okay. And of course, my grated cheese, guys. Here's my cheese. And I'm able to grate it. This is, if anybody's interested, uh, this is my sharp aged cheese that I make. But I leave some for grating. Look at that. This is delicious on pasta. You could purchase my PDF file on this cheese on my website. I know a lot of you have been asking when is the book coming out? When is the book coming out? I'm trying. I just have too many plans for my life and sometimes the book will have to suffer for it. But I do have some recipes if you're interested and they're not that expensive and if you do buy them you'll help support my channel. And this is on my website. The PDF file for this cheese is there. So good. So good. Anybody that's had this cheese on pasta really thought that it was cheese that once we used to have. Okay, taste it again. Mm, my lord. So good. There it is. I keep my cheese. I'll show you how I keep it. I keep it in the fridge in a paper bag. I put everything in there. I put the cheese in my little grater. And it goes back into my fridge. And if you're having pasta or whatever, pull it out and grate it. Okay. 
a little extra salt, of course. And we're going to put some black pepper. Now we're going to swap our peppers. Look at that. Perfect for stuffing. Now you could also buy uh, cheese if you want and you could add it uh, add it to your mixture um, Or if you want to try my mozzarella, you could do that too Very easy And I keep my mozzarella in the freezer so when I need it So I'm just gonna lightly pack them for now and then See if I have any extra, I'll just go around and add. Not lightly packed, but I don't overstuff. Okay, I'm gonna bring this down here so you can see what I'm doing. And here's my beautiful peppers. Okay, we're gonna do this one. What I do is I leave the lids I'll show you in a minute. So this way I could put the lid back on and it doesn't dry up the center of my stuffing. There we go. You just give it a slice, keep it attached, remove the inside. we could put that back on this one I think I messed up a little but that's okay I took off a little too much I didn't take off enough sorry I didn't cut enough of it what you could also do is if you have any sausage in the freezer you could cut up sausage I did have some seitan but I've got other plans for my seitan so I didn't use it in here. But whatever vegan meat you have, you could dice it up right into your mixture and it's gonna be delicious. I chose to put beans instead. Okay. There. Now we're gonna go around and add a little extra. Don't freak out that I'm using my hands, guys. I'm just feeding my own family. I'm not feeding anybody else. Okay. There we go. Push it in. Push it in. And look at that. No leftovers. Push it in. You see, I messed up on that guy. And I made dinner in no time at all. Look at this. All I have to do is cook it. I'm actually going to start them now because even if they're a little, if they're not that hot, they're still going to be delicious. This way when my husband comes home. And here we go. That's the last of it. Mm-hmm. And I get to lick the bowl. Oh, get back up here. Okay. One for me and Erica each. Two for my husband. And he's got... I'm actually going to put some hot peppers in the middle here. And he's going to have also some to bring home with it, to bring with him when he goes to the country. Like I said, my husband does not mind leftovers. Put a couple of these in there, and we're gonna have some roasted peppers to go with this. Roasted hot peppers, simple guys. And it took what some leftover rice. Now, you're say you have plain rice. I tell everybody I buy um, powdered tomato 
in case of emergency guys remember i'm all about in case of emergency let it be um you run out of fresh tomatoes let it be for whatever reason i'm not going to talk about which reasons but i say always make sure you have some powdered tomato handy at home and i have so much of it but i also have one that i use in case i need it like i made my spanish rice I didn't have to dice up tomatoes. I just put like a quarter cup of it in with my Spanish rice and it was perfect. Now say your rice is plain, you could do the same thing. When you're seasoning your rice to put it into your peppers, you could take some of that tomato powder, add it to your plain rice, jazz it up, chop up some garlic, chop up some onion, some uh, fresh tomato so it has a little ex extra liquid always important to have that little extra liquid from the tomato some olive oil I use pesto instead some cheese and then there you go you've got seasoned rice if you're using seitan you could put ground seitan you could put chunks of seitan you could put chunks of sausages you name it it could go in there but very easy a little bit of leftover you make a whole different meal so I am going to just spray these lightly because it already has some fat inside and I'm gonna cook these up and there we go guys leftover made into a new dinner every time I do leftover into a new dinner I keep remembering the story about my dad always cooking pasta for my mom she was so fed up that one day she comes home to a delicious minestrone and she loved her dinner and my father says how do you like your leftover pasta <laughs> so there you go i'm gonna say i love you guys and i'm gonna say if you're new to my channel go ahead and follow if not that's okay too if you like videos videos like this give me a thumbs up and if not that's okay too i'm gonna say i love you it's beautiful outside make your life easy and guess what guys i'm gonna see you in my next video